our final guest today is a dog that many people have maybe seen before on our show or just if they're you know visiting our facility this is miles and unfortunately sometimes dogs get returned and miles was a dog who was adopted and then returned um he's been back with us since august and uh, he's a two-year-old uh, terrier mix um he unfortunately has you know been through a lot of transitions uh, of late um, just you know getting adopted into a home from another facility and then not being able to be kept um, in that situation and then being adopted from us and then um, back here he is again so he's definitely looking for um, his third chance at a, at a true forever home um, Miles is a very energetic guy. If you're looking for a couch potato dog, even though you think Miles is so beautiful, Miles is not the dog for you. Miles is a dog that wants to go running in the morning and he wants to go running in the afternoon and he wants to go running in the evening. He wants to play in your yard. He wants to go on hikes. Um, he's definitely a, a guy who has a lot of excess energy, um, but you know, is also a very smart dog. Um, he's very treat motivated. Um, he has gone to a puppy camp as well. So we know that he is um, quite capable of learning things. Um, just, you know, a very quick learner um, and a dog that with the right handler is a perfect match. Um, somebody that is not going to be like uh, uh, aggressive and like, you know, yelling at him, but a little bit of an authoritative, you know, mile stop. Um, he really responds to that and having those boundaries. Um, but he's a very playful guy, a very goofy guy. Um, our volunteers walk him all the time. Uh, volunteers of all ages and sizes. Nobody seems to have an issue with Miles. Um, he's gone on some outings to the park and uh, people have reported that he's done really well out in that environment. Um, he was adopted and was um, was given some training. Um, he was uh, taken to sit means sit. We don't often recommend that because they do tend to use e collars there. Um, that's not something that we would recommend for Miles. Um, sometimes those aversive types of training tactics can um, make um, the dog more uh, the aggressive behaviors uh, intensify. Um, but Miles has done you know tr positive reinforcement, force free clicker training type of, of work, and he's done really well with that. And we would encourage any adopter to continue with that. But just want to bring that up in case you're looking through his profile and you see that we would not recommend sending Miles back to that type of a facility. So what does Miles' new home look like or what may it not look like? So because of, of his energy level, uh, we're looking for kids that are not young, no small children. But uh, he, part of the reason why he was returned most recently is because he was chasing some cats. Um, he thought cats were um, um, food, not friends. <laughs> um, so we're definitely looking for a home that does not have um, cats or small animals or things like that. Um, you know, he may even be prone to chasing some chickens, who knows? So just taking that in mind, but we're definitely not looking to send him to a home that has, you know, free roaming rabbits or cats or anything like that in the household. But other than, than those things, like Miles is um, a wonderful pet, but again, if you're looking for a dog that's gonna be active with you, if you're looking for a dog to kind of lounge around with you, he might not be the best fit. Um, if you think that Miles is exactly the dog that you're looking for, you want somebody to help you, um, you know, run every day and, and uh, you know, do all of those fun things, go on hikes, then um, go to visit fcac.as.me to visit, to make that visitation appointment with Miles. 